Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show how we can replace the logo on our Madison site with a new logo. And you could do this a couple ways. And I'm going to show you how to use the default content for an eSpot to replace some content versus using a web activity. So let's go ahead and uh, look at the site and, and see where we got to get started. Okay, so in Management Center, what we're going to use is this preview feature here. And that's going to allow us to preview the store. And what's really cool about this feature is you can actually launch the store um, at a specific date and time to test some of your web activities in the future. You can also state whether or not time um, preview elapses as real time elapses. So that'll kind of give you a, a really good way to test out um, your site as time goes by while you're using it if you have any you know time sensitive uh, web activities but we're just going to go ahead and launch it with the current date and time and you'll notice since we use the store preview tool we've got this little header up here and we can show the marketing spots and this is the marketing spot that we're going to work with which is the logo so this whole area up here it can be configured by the business user and what we want to do is replace this Madison's logo with a Madison's wear logo so let's go ahead and uh, go back to management center and, and replace that okay on the assets tab and we're in the Madison's e-site what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and add a attachment to this directory under the Madison's e site. So we'll go ahead and select new file and we will upload this to the system. And this will now point to the logo and we can actually preview the logo later, but we'll just go ahead and upload it. and close. So the next thing we need to do is we now need to associate this particular file with some content that can be displayed on the site. And we do that in the marketing tab. And we'll select the Madison eSite. We go under content and we're going to create new content and we'll call this Madison's Wear Logo. And we can actually search for it and just drag it over there. And for people that have images turned off, we can go ahead and just type in logo. Now you can also give it a default action like a custom URL or have it hit go to the home page, but I'm not going to do that in this demo. I'm just going to go ahead and save that and close it. And now if we actually filter this, we can actually look at it. And there it is, Madison Square. So that's the logo that's going to appear inside of the eSpot. And if we go over to eSpots, we can actually look for the store logo eSpot. And you'll notice, since this content is from the, the hub store uh, and we're an extended site, we also have the ability to display the default content here. So I can do a Madison's where and it does an automatic search and it's since it resolved to a single entry it just goes ahead and inserts it in there so now I can save this and close it and we'll go ahead and check out the site so if we use the same feature as before where we just launch the site using the same settings we can now see 
that our new logo has been uploaded with the Madison's Wear. So this is a pretty easy tutorial, but um, I think it's kind of neat because instead of using web activities for, for an eSpot, we use the default content field, which basically just says, hey, this is the content for that field regardless of date, time, or anything else. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.